for all your ultimate team coin needs, check out utcoinsforyou.com. There will be a link in the description, and if you use the code CHES, you can get yourself a 5% discount. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again with another episode of the interactive Road to Division 1. This is of course the series where you guys pick the teams that we play with, heading through those ranked divisions trying to get ourselves that Division 1 title. Now uh, of course in the previous episode we were able to get promotions so, uh, and we got a decent start to life in Division 5 with two wins from the first two games of the season. So we're uh, hoping to continue that with Monaco. But one quick thing of note before we get into this episode, um, there was an, ep uh, an extra bonus episode of the career mode go up earlier on this afternoon. So if if you missed that, check back on the channel page for an extra episode of the Chelsea career mode and uh, you'll have that as your uh, Wednesday afternoon upload. This one will be coming to you a little bit later on in the evening. But uh, we're starting this one as Monaco. And uh, first things first, Monaco are fucking shite. Do not play with Monaco on head-to-head. -head. They were the most horrible team to play with that I've encountered to date. I really did not enjoy playing with them. And they got, I, I gave away an absolutely horrific penalty here. How this is a pen, I don't know. The guy just gets squeezed out. And uh, there's no foul there, he just goes down in a heap when he drops to the floor. Gets a pen and we're going to go 1-0 down. But anyway, this suggestion comes in from Bryce Henry, Donut HD, Dan Fitzpatrick, Toxic Flash, Extreme Gamers, Josh Maz, Sam VVJ, Jack Thompson, Liam Fitzpatrick, Ahmed Badafra, Callum Whitelock and Kevin Jantz. So thank you to you guys for the suggestion of Monaco. I apologise that uh, I have been slightly disrespectful towards Monaco in the, the opening to this series, but he definitely has been, uh, or they definitely were rather, a, a horrible team to play with. I don't know how I wasn't able to get back on level terms. I don't know why he tried to take that shot uh, in the manner with, that he did my right back there. It really wasn't the most orthodox of, uh, of attempts on goal. Flying in with, uh, with a, a weird outside of the boot toe poke even though he could quite easily have just side footed it into the back of the net but uh, we were going to come close to an equaliser here he does something crazy with his goalkeeper and I try and just finesse it in from the edge of the box it hits the defender and the goalkeeper on the back before going out for a corner so I was uh, pretty annoyed at the fact that I hadn't scored to an open goal there and then San Martino is going to whip the corner in up goes uh, Dimitar Berbatov but it's a tame header drops down to the defender and uh, unfortunately we weren't able to get anything else out of that game Really, really horrible game to play, and are not the best one to start off this particular episode, but we're hoping for better with Spurs. Obviously, a team that we did a career mode with on current gen, or I guess old gen now, uh, FIFA 14, and uh, we did pretty well with them, so hoping to do well in uh, in this one. We're actually going to come up against PSG with Tottenham, so it's a very, very tough game. We, of course, played with Sweden in the last episode, so we know what Ibra's all about, and uh, we played as PSG, got promotion out of Division 7, I think, with uh, with PSG, so we definitely know that they're a very, very strong team overall. But this suggestion comes in from Logan Devine, Jugal17, Insignia, Mr. FIFA 14, Liam Fitzpatrick, Callum Pocknell, Extreme Gamers, Extreme Boss, Toxic Flash, NTBSRVFD, still don't know what that uh, username is all about, Jack Whittaker and Bryce Henry. So, thank you very much to you guys for the suggestion of Spurs. It's actually getting to the point where there are so many suggestions for each team, uh, I may have to consider just picking picking one rather than listing everyone's names but uh because otherwise I'm going to I'm going to spend the entire episode just listing names of people that have left a comment but anyway we uh, we aren't quite at that stage yet so we're coming into this one as Tottenham as you can see we're already tuning up fantastic header from Roberto Soldado here Musa Dembele doing the work down the right hand side Stansable obviously gets to the byline really powerful and accurate header kind of falling back, fading away from the goal. Really strong neck muscles there from Roberto. And we take a 2-0 lead. We're going to make it 3-0 just before half-time. Aaron Lennon dances into the box. Not the uh, most accurate of finishes. Kind of straight at the goalkeeper, but uh, he can't react in time. And uh, we take a comfortable lead into the break. And we're almost going to make it 4-0 just before, uh, or just after, rather, that half-time break. Going to try and get into the box with Dembele. And I just can't quite get the shot away just in time. And uh, he's going to catch me on the most speedy of, uh, of counter-attacks. Edinson Cavani's left one-on-one. -on -one. He's going to smash it into the back of the net. And after we nearly make it 4-0... He actually brings it back to 3-1. But he wasn't going to be able to do anything else after uh, after that goal went in. And we do run out 3-1 winners. So we do at least get another set of three points for our league tally so far this year. That leaves us on nine, heading into the final game of the episode, which is as Fulham as you can see. I'm not playing uh, Mitroglu. I tried to think of his first name there and I couldn't think of it. But uh, Mitroglu is on the bench. I'm not starting him to start off with because he's really, really slow. He's a fantastic player in real life, but not that effective on FIFA. I started Darren Bent. Uh, I've also got Johnny Heitinger in there, the the, uh, the recent signing, of course, at centre back, came in from Everton. And uh, who was the other guy that they signed? Um, I'm trying to think. They got Kvist, but uh, I left him on the bench as well. And uh, there was someone else that they signed during the January transfer window that my memory fails me. But he 
came so close three times to taking the lead there. Hitting the bar twice with two rebounds. But uh, we went in at half-time at 0-0. And uh, you'll be able to see from the stats... I, would, I did, just didn't deserve anything from the first half. This suggestion, by the way, comes in from Callum Pocknell and Bryce Henry, if I haven't yet mentioned that. I don't believe I did. So uh, thank you to you guys for the suggestion of Fulham. But uh, into the second half now, and I was actually able to... Uh, is his team tired? I was able to uh, to make a couple of changes. As you can see, De Jagger is a fresh change. A lot of, uh, lot of stamina left for him. Kieran Richardson pounces on the rebound from the goalkeeper. And we are able to take a 1-0 lead just 15 minutes from time. And his, his team really did seem to tire towards the end. He was trying to play a lot of LBA passes. So a lot of his players were, uh, you know, were constantly sprinting. So his stamina dropped towards the end of the game quite severely. And as you can see, Darren Bent makes it 2-0. In the in the 86th, 87th minute, we're actually going to make it three. Lovely, uh, lovely ball through from Scott Parker into Sidwell. Gorgeous threaded through ball to uh, to Lewis Holt. He's going to hit the first time lob over the goalkeeper Mislera into the back of the net. We're going to take a 3-0 win from the game as Fulham. And uh, I'll be honest, Fulham weren't that strong a side, but it was more a case of him misusing Galatasaray than, uh, than me actually being any good with Fulham. But uh, we come away with three points nonetheless, so pleased to do so. That has secured safety in Division 5 for us already this season. And uh, the uh, the league table, or not the league table, but the league, st league statistics will come up on your screen in just a second. But that's going to bring this episode to a close, guys. So do feel free to leave the video a like if you did enjoy. That'd be absolutely super. Uh, but like I say, there was an episode of Career Mode earlier on today, so uh, check the channel page for that if you missed it. And uh, leave a suggestion in the comments down below if you have any suggestions for the next episode, which of course will be coming your way on Saturday afternoon. But that's all for today, so thank you very much for watching. As you can see, we, uh, we're halfway through the season, we're already well on course for promotion again from Division 5. Four points from promotion, seven from the title. We missed out on the Division 6 title, so it would be nice to pick the uh, the Division 5 title up if we possibly can. But if uh, you want to subscribe to the channel and you would like to do so, there's plenty of ways to do that. It's an annotation on the screen over that right fist. There's a link in the description and, of course, the ordinary subscribe button underneath the video. If you missed the previous episode, then feel free to click on the annotation on the uh, the left fist on screen. That would take you to that. And if you don't follow me on Twitter as well, at Chesnoy Gaming is the Twitter handle. Feel free to follow me over there as well. Recently hit 500 followers so uh, thank you very much for that I would like to get a, a larger Twitter following if I possibly can so if you do have Twitter then come and follow me over there but that's it for today guys so thank you very much for watching and I will see you tomorrow with some more career mode